Hey guys, MTG Noob here, and I'm on the play. Um, this hand's a little sketchy, but I'm gonna keep it. I think beating down with the Shred Freaks is is fine. I mean, we don't start on turn until turn two, but once we hit turn two, we're looking okay. So we'll go boom, boom, boom. Hopefully, we'll hit something awesome and. Oh, that's good. We're playing the mirror. All right. Well, since that's the case, um, hmm. I think I just want to save damage and kill that Shromkirk Noble. Hopefully, this isn't an Ash Elliot. Okay, maybe he's got two of these. Jeez, he's just all in. Shred freak. Um, let's see. Do we want to be the beatdown? No. I think we want to be the block down. Is that a thing? Ash sell it. Jesus Christ, man. Alright. How are we going to stabilize from this? I think I block. It probably makes more sense to block the Cackler now and take the one. Yeah, I think I have to do that. He's got one card left. Okay. Um, it's nice that we have our own Ash Zealot because that sits in front of everything he does for now. Um, willing to use this for good as long as he doesn't kill it okay shred freak so he's got oh, jeez he's got nothing left all right well we have to now block I'd say everything um there we go. Take five. And now we'll play a Shred Freak. And we'll play a Shred Freak. <laughs> and when the dust settles, we'll see what's, uh, what's going down. Okay. So he's going to flip his waifs. Which I think is a smart play on his behalf. And we brick and hit a land. Which is not good for us. But assuming he doesn't rip a removal spell, we're okay. He just had the nut like all one drop in. Hopefully this isn't a removal spell. That's beautiful. Okay, well we're going to trade out on waves and and kill this so we'll hope he uh... doesn't draw anything and he's just left with a 2-1 okay I guess he's gonna brimstone volley us which is fair since now we're probably dead um, we're within burn range. We're within single digit burn range. Okay, well, I don't think I could have played that hand better. Um, us flooding out is not, not much I could do about that. As you could see, the disparity in lands here. Um, I just have tons. And he has four. <laughs> So I drew double the lands. Sure, I'm not gonna take. I'm not gonna take four. I'm just gonna block. Don't even send them. Don't even send them. Boom. All right. Well, we need a burn spell. Ah, uh, and we lose nine lands. Okay. Well, not much I could do here. Let us load up on get rid of this crap and bring in this crap and I think we want the volcanic strengths we might want the waves 
not too sure. We are on the play here. So, do I want the waifs or the cacklers? I think I want the cacklers over the waifs because he might have spells that kill things. Um, need to cut three things. Hmm. I feel like I want to be the aggressor here. So I'll leave the Shred Freaks. They're all humans, so it's kind of irrelevant. Alright, well, here's to better luck. Okay, I hate keeping these hands. Um, the problem with this hand is it does kill everything he plays, but if he just has a ton of guys, then I just lose. Uh, I'm going to keep it, but, you know, it, it is very vulnerable. Like, if this was a Flames of the Firebrand, then I'd be much, much happier. But we'll see if he decides to keep. Looks like he's thinking. Okay, and he keeps. And we're off. Okay, um, no. Okay, another pillar. That means we'll be searing, spearing this. If he plays another one, we're okay. We're still just trading one for ones. So, not the worst. And he'll come crashing in. And we'll kill this. And that's his turn. And we draw land. And now I'm going to kill this here in case he has land and brimstone volley. I don't want him to get me for five which would be really annoying. But as you can see, like right now we're trading one for one and our one for one is really just not doing anything. Sure, I don't want to block. I'm a red deck. I just smash face. Hopefully this is... All right, that I could live with. I'm kind of hoping he does not end up playing a Hellrider because I do not want a two for one myself. Shred freak. He's shredding up fools. Okay. Let's see what he's got. Okay, he's got a pillar. So this match is going to boil down to who has more. And by more I mean who has more? You know, right now, um, we're playing the mirror, and it's very possible that in the mirror you should draw because you uh, get the extra card. However, the thing that worried me about his deck is that I am of the logic that with all one drops, his deck is faster than mine. So I don't really want to uh, lose to it. God, I hope he doesn't Hellrider me. Uh, this time around, I'm going to actually take it. Hopefully he doesn't Brimstone me, which I think he was trying to set up. Yep. And now one of us is at nine. But that allows us to rip like a champ. Get in for some damages. This grows a little. Now he's going to spend mana killing that, which is way better than rip another one. Alright, no Searing Spear one time. Alright. This is going to be hard to kill. Yep, you can have that. And this will most likely be the game. Well, we did rip really well there. Okay, so took the second game. Um, 
think we played that okay. Um, uh, do I want to bring in two two toughness guys versus one one toughness guy? I think we're gonna leave it as is. Maybe I just want dudes versus removal. I don't think so though. Come on the draw. Do I want these chain house walkers? I don't think I want the shred freaks. Pay one. I wish they uh, were three twos for two. <laughs> I'm just greedy. I mean, maybe these aren't the worst, but he has Pillar of Flames. And they come down so slow. I mean, they do trade with something and then come back as a 2-2. But I don't think we have time for any of that nonsense. This is a little bit slow. I think I'm going to keep this as is. This doesn't block well, so... I think we'll try it this way. Okay, so we're back. We're on the draw. My opponent mulls. Uh, I'm going to keep this. It it trades really well. As long as he doesn't go a bunch of 4-3s right now out of the gate. Um, this hand's amazing, by the way. This card. Alright, so he mulled to 5. So, can't blame him. I just want to see a dudes eventually. Be nice for us to play a 2 2 and slap on a volcanic strength. Okay, this is probably an Ash Zealot, which is fine. We shall take a dose. Love to rip a one drop here and play Pillar on a Zealot. Oh, that's not a one drop. You know what, I think I'm going to Gore House Chain Walk here. Now, he may be being, like, very, very greedy. But I think I'm okay with going down to 16, potentially, here. To put him on a, a clock. Did not expect to see that coming. Kind of hope he doesn't. Alright, well, he nutted his hand on the floor. Onto the table. So he's got nothing left. Hellrider's really good there. Um, I think I'm okay with this plan going to 14. Kind of hope he plays a one drop and then I just go. Bup, bup, bup. Go to 14. Um. So we have a noble, and we have up a searing spear, and we're gonna try to potentially kill something here. That might be another forge devil. Hey, I'm gonna kill one. Doesn't seem like a good use, but the way my hand is looking. Okay, pillar. Um, is it worth it? I think I'll go to 9. 
Okay, we're gonna try to race here with this Hell Rider. He's gotta hit like runner runner cards, like haste dudes and crazy stuff for me to lose this game. Put it on that because we want it to survive. That was a really good draw. Alright, so he's at five and he's got to deal me eight here. And even with Hellrider, there's no way he's doing that. Alright, so we take this one down. Still had the flames. Um, I think we played well, although he did mull to five. And as you learned earlier, um, losing cards in the mirrors is, is always hard. Alright, thanks for watching. Please check out the mtgnoob.com.